Hello Lola's. So I'm back with another video and this is twin number two and this is Holly. We have named her Holly. However, Holly is the, wait a minute, before I get into that, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Smash that red subscribe button. And if you want to be a part of the Chatterbox, which is a paid membership, make sure you click the join button next to the subscribe button or the link in the description bar, which you do have to pay $1.99, yes, to be a member um, for exclusive live streams. And also, um, you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. Now, back to what I was saying is Holly is Hunter's twin, and she is the Dwayne Sculpt by Claire Tellum. Um, and she was also painted by Claire Tellum. And some of you guys may get tired of me saying that, but I do like to be very specific. When I, because I paint Reborns myself, I don't want anyone to ever think I'm trying to take credit for another artist's work. So I will always tell you that she was painted by Claire Teller. So, um, anyway. So, this little girl is going to get changed just like her brother did. And, um, you know, I, I rarely share with my personal friends, if you want to call it that, um, friends that's not a part of this doll community. And, um, you know, often when I do, I get that same, same thing that we get from, you know, outside people. I'm less and less as I, you know, people begin to realize that this is what I do, but I still get it from time to time. Like, oh, wh now why do you do that? Or what are they for? Or, you know, or how much they cost or, you know, just stuff like that, that, you know, you get from people that don't understand, you know, why we are into the hobby. And I don't necessarily have a problem with that. Um, but I don't necessarily feel obligated to make them understand. You know, I see a lot of people trying to make people understand, trying to justify it. And I just don't feel that way. And, um, you know, a lot of men um, that are with us that, you know, that collect these babies, they they tend to, you know, tolerate them. Or some of them fully accept them. Some of them actually enjoy that we have this hobby. Um, I remember when I first started dating my guy, he wanted me to continue to do this hobby he still wants me to continue to do this hobby because he knows it makes me happy and it's an outlet for me and it's like a stress reliever and of course if i'm happy you know he's happy that that is cliche but it's true um <laughs> so you know but however he doesn't enjoy the hobby like we do or he doesn't support the hobby like maybe we do like he doesn't you know, everything for him is like, can you make money off of them? Oh, are you going to sell that one? How much are you going to sell that one for? Oh, that one should go for a lot of money. Oh, so when are you going to sell that one? Oh, that one came back? When it, you Did you sell that one already? You know, it's kind of like for men, most men, um, some of you guys probably can relate. It's about money. You know, it's like as much as I say this is a hobby, this is something I love, it's like, soon as I started painting, it's like it became a job to them, you know, to him. And so, and I love him. I mean, of course I love him. And he, you know, he wants the best for me and he means well, but, you know, it's my hobby. And, you know, I'm just not going to change my, you know, my hobby into strictly work. I paint because I love painting. And yes, I paint because I do want to make money. But at the end of the day, um, I, I paint because I love doing it and it's something I, I enjoy. Um, and I just don't spend my life anymore trying to get validation, um, from anyone, even people that I love, you know, I, there's, you know, times where people that I love have 
taking my hobby and throwing it up in my face and say, well, you know, you spend all that money on dolls or you, um, you're, you're crazy. You collect dolls. You know, I've had, I've been through that with, you know, people that I love that have done that to me or tried to make me feel some type of way because of the hobby that I, that I choose to have. Um, and it used to bother me. I never really admitted it out loud, but I'll be honest with you guys, it used to bother me. But at this point, it's like, I'm not going to allow people to, to make me do what they want me to do. Like, this is what I love. It's about me. It's not about them. Look at this. <laughs> oh, little self. Um, it's, it's about me and what I love, you know? And everybody have their thing. You know, some people like expensive purses. Some people love gadgets. They got to have the latest iPhone. They got to have the latest iPad. They got to have the latest, you know, you know, Android. You know, some people collect um, fancy shoes and they spend hundreds on just one pair of shoes. Jimmy Choo Choo or Choo Choo, Choo, Choo Train shoes or whatever you call them. Red bottom, apple bottoms, purple bottoms, you know, all that jazz. That's not my thing. I've never been a prissy girl. You know, I clean up well when I need to, but, uh, yeah, just buy me a doll. <laughs> so, um, the one time I was talking to this guy and I, I, he says to me, um, yeah, but what you expect a guy to show up to, to dinner with a doll? And I went, that would be great. <laughs> and he's like, really? Nobody's gonna show up with a doll. I just, well, they need to get to get it together. You know, this is this is a, this is 2019. This is what I like. If they love me and they figure me out enough, they need to know. You need to buy me a doll. That's what I want. So, you know, I I just don't look for validation. That's what anything that I do in life. You know, I I learn to stop. You know, sometimes we don't realize that we're seeking validation. You know. Um, just certain things we we post things and if we don't get enough likes or somebody don't comment you know we feel like man they don't like my my baby or they don't like you know my whatever I'm talking about or whatever um, and we don't realize that we're 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 seeking validation I stopped doing that you know if if everybody hates my collection you think I'm gonna have a fit you know when I had um, Zoe by Claire Teller, um, you know, people made little comments. They said, you know, she she had long arms. She was this. She was that, you know, or whatever. Didn't bother me none. She was my most favorite baby. You know, I do not spend my time. You know, it's great when 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 people, you know, enjoy what I enjoy and they love what I love. But first of all, biologically, I've been an only child for you know a while and I am used to being by myself and I'm used to standing alone second of all I've always been different she's different she's different yeah girl your yeah, girl she's different <laughs> no I've always been different and you know this is why I love my grandmother so much because my grandmother's like um she's never been what you want to call normal she's never done everything that other people did. I've always did my own thing. So for me to start, you know, now over 40 years old going, I need to follow the crowd it would just be kind of weird, you know? So I'm just not that type of person. And I just want to, want to tell you guys that, you know, don't, don't let people, it, it, it's almost a form of bullying and it is hurtful. But, you know, just just do you whatever it is in life that you want to do, whatever, whoever you decide that you want to be, you know, do you be you don't allow people to, you know, change who you are or make you feel some type of way or like, you know, because some people feel like if you're not doing it their way or you're not doing what they doing, then it's wrong. If you don't collect what they collect, you don't you don't like the same dolls that they like or buy from their artists, then it's wrong. It's not nice. It's not good enough. You're not enough. No, you are enough. Whatever you like is what you like and be done with it. You know, um, I, I just, you know, if you spend your whole life trying to please people, you will never succeed. 
because you cannot please other people. First of all, there's so many people in this world that cannot and will not and do not know how to be happy for other people. And they will continuously bring all types of negative energy your way and they will always have something negative to say. They will always find a negative. They will always try to hurt your little feelings and they will they will never give you the validation that you're looking for because they're miserable. <laughs> so, and sometimes, you know, people just don't even realize that they're doing it, but they do it. So don't, don't give in to that. Um, oh my gosh, I just love her. Where's the little brush? I was going to try to, maybe, maybe I'll try to brush a little bit. I haven't really did anything with their hair and I really don't want to. Cause I, I like the little curls up at the top um, and it kind of stays and they have some little softly little bit of painted hair softly around the, the, the hairline I see um, oh they also have some beautifully um, fine painted hair strokes underneath I see she does at least on her scalp wow that's beautiful Man, I, wonder, I would love to see her painted hair. Whoa, it looks like regular hair. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so anyway, um, sorry I got lost in that. I didn't realize that it's something I noticed. Um, but, you know, like I said, you know, don't spend your time trying to be validated. You know, be who you are, love who you are, and, you know, do your thing. I think, you know, a lot of us are pretty, pretty brave women that we collect you know these dolls you know being fully grown and the amount of you know um you know the 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 amount of judgment that we get just just because we are doll collectors you know we have to really have thick skin and um you know it takes a lot especially when you're being a creator and you're coming out here on a platform where everybody gets to judge and throw comments at you and stuff like that um it it's it's a lot and even more so when you are trying to be an artist and trying to paint and and do stuff people will constantly you know nitpick and make judgments on your work and i'm sure the sculptors you know and i i know i i we all do it i do it I know sometimes I say stuff like, oh, I don't really like the way that sculpted is. Or I don't like this. Or why did they sculpt the arm like that? Or why did they do the leg like that? You know, for the sculptors <laughs> to see that it's kind of like, hey, that's my work, <laughs> you know? Um, and then some are saying, oh, you know what? I kind of didn't like that part either too much. Or they might be saying, you know what? The next baby, I'm not going to, I'm going to do it a little different. I was kind of wondering about that. You know, sometimes it just makes us get better. Like there, you know, when I first started painting um, uh, Reborns, the someone uh, basically um, tried to tear me down before I even got started, basically. Um, and the things that they, they, the little thing that they nitpicked on actually helped me. It helped me grow because even though I know it was, you know, another artist behind it, like trying to um, make my work look bad, you know, so to speak, so that, cause it breaks you. Like if you're early on and you're just starting and, and you get attacked by people or artists or something, you don't want to keep going, right? You want to give up, you want to quit. You want to be like, I can't do this anymore. But instead, it just made me want it even more. And it made me, correct anything or try to um you know double check areas and stuff like that so every everything it's all about how you react to stuff you know what i mean so sometimes people think that they're hurting you but they're actually really helping you and it, it builds you and it makes you stronger um so you know sometimes you have to step back and look at things and go hmm well what can i do differently about this and you just keep it keep it moving um just know that you know None of us is perfect and nothing that we do is going to be a hundred percent as much as we want to we give our all and everything someone can always find fault in anything that we do not just in painting just in the world you know being a mother you know I try my best to be the best mother but 
Have I made mistakes? Oh, yes. Have I did things that, you know, I wish I could take back? Sure. Because you don't, you, you learn things as you go and you make mistakes and we have emotions and, you know, things like that. So even, you know, just on my job, just being a mother, just, oh, that sounds like somebody is being a mother, just being a job. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, it sound, all of a sudden I start, feel like I sound like somebody. I, okay, never mind. But anyway, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. So anyway, my mom bought me this shirt for the, for the record in memory of when I cared. She she said this kind of reminded her of me. So she, she got this for me years ago and every so often it just pops up and I just put it on and then I realize I look down and I go, oh, that's that shirt. <laughs> and then it's like, so anyway, that's what my shirt shirt says and it doesn't, it didn't have anything to do with the video. I just happened to have it on while I'm cleaning today. So I just wanted to check in and I know I've rambled a lot, but this is my little girl and she is also weighted really good. And I just really want to see what Claire did to weight them because I'm going to, I am going to copy that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I copy, I'm not copy. I weight my babies pretty well myself as it is, but these babies do feel very good they feel like i mean they make you feel like you're holding a, a silicone baby like the weight the way that they feel it's just kind of pretty amazing Mwah. <laughs> and then people say why are you kissing that that's just a final it's just a doll you're kissing a doll Mwah. i kissed my doll yes i did she's such a cute little baby that tongue color is like amazing that is real. That is real. That that tongue color is real. Real, real. I can literally probably lick my tongue out and look the same as her tongue. But anyway, guys, I know this, like I said, it's been a long video. And Holly is, say, I'm a Holly Jolly Lolly Lolly Christmas. I'm ready for the Christmas tree. I'm already here and I'm ready for my shopping spree. Oh, have a jolly Christmas, but you gotta do Thanksgiving first. Oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I love this girl. All right, we will see you later. Oh, wait, you, I have another, Never mind. it ain't gonna work probably gonna work anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded so you guys can have something to watch see you guys next time bye bye don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out and leave me a comment don't be don't be like that don't be acting funny some of y'all be acting funny don't be acting funny <laughs> bye